Welcome back to the Gift of Podcast. Let's get to the Super Bowl prop bets, starting with Miko Hardman, over 25 and a half receiving yards. Kansas City has a lot of moving parts with speed, and it's easy to lose sight of a player on defense, particularly Tyreek Hill and Miko Hardman. All it takes is one big play over the top to push this prop bet over, and we know the Bucks secondary has a lot of issues. Next, Tyreek Hill, over 92 and a half receiving. Like I said, we know the Bucks secondary has problems, so Hill should have no problem getting separation throughout the game but it's also important to recognize that Tyreek Hill comes up big in big games. And that's been the mantra with him last Super Bowl, nine catches for 105 yards. I think we see a similar performance from him this year. Next prop, Rob Gronkowski over 28 and a half receiving. Tampa seems to use Gronk more as a blocker, but that's what makes him more scary to me because you never know when he's going to get the ball as an opposing defense. You don't know when Tom Brady's going to dump it off to him on a screen. And usually When Gronk gets the ball, it's with a lot of space in front of him. He racks up the yards after the catch. And again, this is a player prop that I like because it only takes a player two to push it over. Next player prop, Tom Brady under 295 and a half passing yards and Pat Mahomes under 325 and a half passing yards. We talked about it in the game breakdown. I think both quarterbacks are going to be under pressure throughout the game. Chris Jones and Frank Clark are going to be coming after Brady and JPP and Shaq Barrett are going to be after Mahomes. I think it affects their passing totals. Now, let's look at some other prop bets. Most likely, the MVP will be Brady or Mahomes, depending on which team wins the game. But you like to give it to the quarterback, it makes for a better headline. But since I'm picking the Chiefs, I'm going to go Chris Jones as a long shot. If he were able to get seven tackles, four sacks, and a forced fumble in a critical situation, I think that would be enough to get him close to MVP. The odds are really good at 12,500. So I think this is at least worth exploring. But like I said, most likely if the Chiefs win, they're going to give it to Mahomes for the headlines. Next, another prop that I like, both teams will punt first. Like I said, the pressure is going to be on both quarterbacks. I'm not saying Brady and Mahomes are going to be gun shy, but if they're getting hit, there's really not much that they're going to be able to do. And I think that's going to be the case. There could be a little bit of nerves in the beginning of the game. So I think both teams punt first. My score prediction is 28-24. So I think there'll be seven total touchdowns throughout the entire game. That prop bet is plus 275 odds, which is pretty good. And a couple cross-sport bets that I did for fun. Tyreek Hill's yards will be more than the Miami Heat's points against the Knicks on February 7th. And Steph Curry will score more points against the Mavericks on February 6th than the Bucks will during the Super Bowl. And with that, make sure to hit the like button, share the videos, and subscribe.